Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see from the B-roll walking in, it's a lovely misty morning today. Um, I've been here for about 40 minutes or something like that, just uh, wandering around. Uh, the mist has uh, dissipated a little bit, it's uh, disappeared, but there's still a little bit hanging around and uh, the sun has just risen as well. So it's not very often that I actually manage to get out with some nice conditions, uh, as you've seen from most of my vlogs. So uh, to actually turn up and find that there is mist and fog here today was um, was a nice, a nice surprise, especially as um, when I set off from my house, there wasn't any at all. Even though it had been forecast, there wasn't any at all, but it was nice to drive over the hill and find a nice bit of thick uh, fog this morning. As you can see, the camera's set up at the moment. So um, to be honest, I'm just taking like woodland scenes, just having a bit of a practice today and we're gonna see what we can get. I'm starting off, I'll, uh, I'll bring you over. Oh, can you see this tree? Yeah, this, this tree here is, um, I quite like it. So I've got that in a photo. <laughs> so that's, that's basically how I work. I like, I like a tree, I put it in, a, in the photo and that's it. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get on to taking photos. Uh, hopefully I'll uh, talk you through or trip over. Hopefully I'll uh, may, be able to talk you through, uh, maybe catch a few. It's just basically looking out for the, the patches of mist that are still lying around. Okay, I'll get on with it. So what I'm trying to uh, do is just uh, make sure at least uh, the main trees are separated uh, nicely so uh, there's nothing overlapping too much uh, on them. There is still a bit of mist in the distance and a little bit of golden light coming in from the sun, uh, sunrise now. Uh, so hopefully this one will look quite nice. Anyway, it's just a little forest scene so I've grabbed that shot and I'll uh, put that up on the screen for you. Okay, I've just moved around um, maybe about 10, 15 paces from the previous shot. Um, just to, uh, obviously, uh, I think I said before, uh, we have the uh, rising sun at the moment. So it's just uh, sort of breaking through uh, the trees, uh, between the branches and the trees. So uh, there's kind of just trying to get a little bit of a sun star going. Uh, and then um, I think you should be able to see on, uh, on the camera there that there is a nice bit of sort of mist and fog in uh, the background there. Uh, it is like a high contrast uh, shot. Uh, this tree that's nearby me is, is pretty dark with the bright sunlight coming through. So uh, we're gonna see what we can do uh, with that. Again, it's really just what I've tried to do, if I can actually see the picture, what I've tried to do is just try and uh, separate um, the trees as much as possible um, and then uh, I've just got uh, a main tree sort of in the foreground uh, which has got a little bit of light on the, uh, the side of it um, and then the sun star is coming uh, sort of about the upper right hand third so you know what it's just it is all just practice this because like I said I, I have rarely had fog in uh, woodland uh, while well, I've been out photographing the woodland, so um, it's a nice experience. It's very peaceful and tranquil. Um, definitely, I was I was super excited when uh, when I arrived this morning, and then went into a panic mode because I have no excuse uh, not to get nice photos today because the conditions are great. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's a bit of a double-edged sword today. Now, finally, get the conditions right, but um, yeah, it's almost like. I'm nervous now taking these shots. Actually, this I might take another one here because this sun star is just coming, poking its way through a little bit more now. Oh, I think I think it took me too long. That's the trouble when the uh, sun's moving through the branches. Is uh, especially at uh, this time of the day, it's the it moves so quickly. Um, you only have like a matter of seconds to actually get the sun star in the spot you want or it'll disappear or something like that so um, we'll see we'll see how that uh, these shots come out
woodland photography is not um, something I would say I'm particularly good at at the moment. I mean, the only way to get better, you can you can watch things, you can read things, um, you can try and um, sort of get get the tips off uh, the great woodland photographers. But the only way you can actually um, learn and improve your woodland photography is by being out in the woodlands at different times of the day, seeing what sort of light there is in the woodlands, uh, different conditions, what it's like with mist and fog, or going out without mist and fog, uh, which is my case most of the time. But I mean, this is my probably, yeah, I would say probably the first time that I've been out with mist and fog around, uh, and it's a completely different experience uh, to how I've been out before. I've always found it quite frustrating trying to spot compositions, um, areas of interest, uh, the light in the forest. This this woodland is beautiful. Uh, it's a local woodland to me, uh, but it's the trees are, are really nicely spaced out. So you get the areas of light and also space, the space between the trees, which I think is kind of important. I mean, my, my aim today is just to have a little wander around, maybe not even travel that far and just see if I can use the light and the mist and uh, just to try and capture a few a few nice photos. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get some some light rays now, which might try and focus on if I don't keep tripping over a branch. What do I want to do with these? What do I want to do with these? Sorry, I left you behind. That's a fun morning so far. I'm really enjoying this. So yeah, at the moment I'm just popping off a few shots with this light that's going on. So I'm just trying to uh, just trying to give the trees. There's uh, two trees that are sort of uh, in well out in front of the light in uh, in this shot. Just trying to give them a little bit of uh, room on the edges. Um, I don't think it's necessarily. I don't think I need to include all the branches that are flying off from the sides uh, of especially the tree on the right, but I quite like the shape of the tree on the left. So um, I want to sort of keep as much as of that in, but well, it's really, I think this is quite a, a nice shot. This, I'm spending quite a lot of time on this one. Uh, the light rays are just sticking around for ages, but um, I quite like how uh, they're hitting, uh, there's a couple of branches uh, in the middle as well, uh, between the two trees and the light's hitting uh, those branches which is uh, it's quite nice. I will put this one up on the screen for you uh, now as well. In a woodland uh, like this where the, the trees are so nicely spaced out, it just it makes it a lot easier to find compositions or to at least sort of separate the trees and take a, take a shot and take a composition home with you so you can have a look at it on the computer even if you're not 100% sure about it while you're in the woodland. I'm definitely coming back here uh, when the autumn colours start kicking in on the oak trees. 
the bracken has started to turn a little bit in a, in a few places but um there's that's gonna look it's gonna look fantastic in in the autumn um but this morning i think it looks absolutely beautiful so oh, i think i spotted another photo well i'll be back in a bit Okay, I think that's my uh, morning done in the woodland. Uh, I'm not really sure how this vlog is going to come across because uh, basically I was just too excited about having mist and fog. Uh, I think I've probably covered most of the photos I've taken this morning. It's just really just enjoying being out. Definitely going to be doing it again pretty soon. Well, as soon as I can really, weather dependent. But yeah, it's, it's been nice to actually have a, a vlog with some nice conditions. Um, so I hope the photos come out well because I have no excuses today. If you've enjoyed the vlog or the, uh, the photos I've taken, uh, then uh, send, leave me a comment below. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to, but only if you want to. I'm not going to force you. Uh, but yeah, for today... Thank you so much for watching again and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.